Okay, so 25 starts again, even though it's one of the later questions, it starts pretty simply. This thing here, you just have to know it's a pure definition. A coherent wave means there's a constant phase difference between waves. Okay, the next one, um, again, maybe not the best question, but basically you've got uh, two waves at one point, and effectively what we're now looking at is the interference of these two waves. So you've basically got one which is going up and down with a large amplitude, and another one which is almost sort of an antiphase with a smaller amplitude. So state with a reason, uh, the motion of the particle at point X when both waves are present, so now we have this kind of uh, some interference, and what you have is movement uh, with an amplitude which I said is less than P. The reason being that you have destructive interference, uh, and that means effectively what you get at any point is the sum of these two waves, which is going to be something a bit like this. Okay, so you basically get a very little kind of uh, resultant amplitude, which I've just drawn on the graph there. Why not do that? You know, just show them that you know what's going on. So maybe label this as uh, X. Okay, the next bit, uh, you've now got a laser, you've got some two slit interference. And the question says explain why you get bright and dark fringes on the screen. Well, um, basically, you've got bright points where you have constructive interference, and this is where the phase difference between the two waves is zero, or you can say the path difference is equal to a multiple of the wavelength lambda. So you can talk about phase difference in degrees or path difference in multiples of the wavelength. Um, then you get another point to say that you've got dark fringes where you have destructive interference, uh, and then you can then talk about how you maybe got here a phase difference of 180, or you've got a path difference of n plus a half lambda. So one mark for talking about the fact you have constructive and destructive interference, and then a mark for mentioning that it's constructive when you've got uh, a phase difference of zero, and destructive when the phase difference is 180. Okay, the next question, uh, loads of stuff that you've already read. Okay, so it's an incorrect suggestion because um, it's not nothing to do with intensity. I've used the equation that lambda equals ax over d, and therefore if a and d are constant, that means the lambda is proportional to x. The wavelength is proportional to the spacing of the fringes. And that means that you can say that pattern A has a shorter wavelength, this light has a shorter wavelength than the laser light for B. So the effect on the pattern of light seen on the screen when one of the slits is blocked, what you then get is no interference. And what you do get then is a diffraction pattern, which is, you know, I don't know how much the, the OCR spec goes into this, but you still see basically a diffraction pattern when you have light going through a single slit, um, and effectively it's brighter in the middle, and then you have that sort of, um, it gets, you know, duller out to the sides. So I think that's enough information that you need to go into, so basically you don't get any interference if you don't have two sources of waves.